Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, trivia question from last time was, who invented scissors? And the answer is Leonardo da Vinci, who invented a lot of stuff, by the way. He was more than just an artist. So, that's cool. Uh, and Leonardo is one of the people that kind of uh, has some influence on that show that I was talking about a few episodes ago, the Medici. So if you have a chance, check it out. I believe it's on Netflix and it's really good. Although, uh, if you haven't already started this and figured this out, if the, the episodes or the seasons in the show were like listed in reverse order, it was weird. Like it, you, if you just go to the show and then click you know, on the first one, it starts you on the third season instead of the first season. So then you're like confused when you start the next season and it's like back in time. Anyway, uh, trivia question for this episode is what is the only state in the United States that borders only one other state? Now it's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind tomorrow. Still no more rain. Another somewhat bad luck day which kind of stinks because what i want to do today after we go to the traveling cart and buy our coop is go hunting for magma geodes because wait for it we need the magma or the uh, dwarf gadget for the farm computer and the most likely place to get it is magma geodes we already have one and donated it to the community center but we need another one to build that computer. And I want that computer, y'all. So we'll just go do that. We should stop at Clint's on the way. There's a chance I get the dwarf gadget from that Omni Geode right there. So that would be cool. Anyway, let's get moving. Hello, thanks for helping me. Oh, wait, it's from Clint. Thanks for helping me clear out these monsters. I'm not scared at all. But it should make the mines after mines safer for everyone else, right? Take this blueprint. Hope it doesn't make me obsolete. Clint, the blacksmith. So we got a recipe for a geode crusher. So we can bust our own geodes? I don't know what else a geode crusher would do. Ooh, that's doable. Two gold bars, stone, 50 stone, and a diamond. It requires coal to operate, which kind of stinks. Because we're a little bit low on that. But I think I might build one of those, y'all. That way I don't have to interact with Clint if I don't want to. I really, uh, I keep forgetting about upgrading my tools. Like, I should have a uh, gold axe by now. I should probably have a gold hoe by now. <laughs> but, whatever, not a huge deal. We got some eggplant down here. Got some corn. Let's get moving. Oh, more mail. I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. So Caroline, ooh, we can do that, and that'll make her happy just in time for the last week of the season. <laughs> this pump. Oh, that's awesome. All righty. Boom. And let's go see old Sea Biscuit here. Oh, Cooper, how you doing, buddy? You staying out of trouble? Oh, good talk. All right, so we kind of talked about our plans. Uh, actually, before I forget, pumpkin for Caroline. Because I will forget that if I don't write it down. It's the 19th, so we don't need to go harvest our uh, apples. I don't think we're in danger of any of these things not growing all the way, so that's cool. But it is neat that you can get artichokes with those mixed seeds, even though you can't get those seeds from uh, Pierre. So, how do you like them apples? Uh, 
Um, while I have a second, I do want to just kind of talk real quick about the remaining things that we need for the community center. And that list includes a snow yam, a crocus, a truffle, a mocky roll, fried egg, rabbit's foot, pomegranate, and red cabbage. Boom. What did I need here? Two gold, 50 stone, and what else? A diamond? You go away. You take its place. Now, let's see. Three coal. Boom, boom, boom. How long does this take? Oh, that's awesome! I love it! Oh. I don't know how long it takes, but that's so cool. Um... Let's go ahead and do another batch of this stuff. Which is known as iron. I don't know why I call it this stuff. Keep that corn. Keep those two eggplants. And it's quickly looking like that's going to be the winner of uh, what I end up with the most of. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Alright, we'll come back later and look at the uh, geode crusher. Hopefully we get um, the dwarf gadget from that. And that will free us up to do whatever we want today. But I don't know that we'll get that lucky. That would be awesome. It's like a 1% chance. Dino egg. I was just saying we were due for another dino egg. And look at this. Would you look at this? Making a dino mayo. Hello, pig. All right, it's an odd day, which I think is our goat milk days. Yep, large goat milk right there. That's probably the most efficient I've been on the uh, cow milking situation. All right, we're going to do another goat's milk. And a cow's milk, I suppose. Let's go. What can we sell? That. That, 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 that. I'm going to keep another milk. Boom. Let's get it. Come on, have that geode be ready. Copper. All right. Uh, let's put... I'm actually going to start leaving geodes in here because I can grab those when I grab other stuff to smelt. So that's cool. Now over here, wood go in there. Milk, cheese go in there. We'll save until we have maybe five milk. It's probably good enough. I might need more for recipes or whatever, but that's not a big deal. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What did I need? 200 stone. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. 500 wood. Boom. All right. I need a pumpkin for Caroline. Boom. That's why you save one, baby. All right. Caroline wants a pumpkin. Traveling cart. Robins to buy a coop. And then to the gold mines. Let's... Or the uh, gold levels of the mines, I should say. Oh, that bush there, that little tree is going to block my path. That's going to drive me crazy. I need to put some path there so that nothing can grow. Because I need two spaces to get my horse through. And when they spread to that, that blocks my path. It's a good thing you can't give Wellwick a pumpkin or gifts because I would have just handed her a pumpkin and then had to go back and get my gold pumpkin to give to Caroline. 
What am I looking for here? Red cabbage. <sighs> She's the worst. Y'all, seriously, what have I done to deserve this from her? This will be, I believe, the fourth, if it continues this trend, the fourth time I've gone through a playthrough just trying to get the community center done in year one, and her not giving me the red cabbage being the only thing that stops me. Why am I here? I don't need anything from her. I could buy a sheep. I've got enough money, but let's not. I should buy a goat or whatever. But goats and cows, to me, are... Like, cows are actually probably worth more to me. Because I can use them for cheese and get a ton of cheese. Look at this blackberry sitting right here in front of Leah's house. So let's just grab it, because why not? Alright, where are we going here? Caroline. Robin's Mines. Whoa. Whoa! Hey! I feel like I was about to get ambushed right there. Like, if there was ever a scenario where I needed to defend myself from an attack, it's when all of a sudden out of, you know, nowhere come three people bursting out of their homes. I'd have to pull out that bone sword and wield it along with the, uh... Oh, man. This is a cool cutscene, but unfortunately it's going to take a bunch of time. So... All right, here's uh, Abigail playing Super Nintendo. Evan! What is this? You scared me sneaking into my room like that. What did she have in there? Is that a hamster? Sigh. You, so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. Well, maybe it's not the game for you. But anyway. Uh... This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Hey, I have an idea. Let's play together. Maybe we can do it if we double team it. Okay. I got my hard hat on. I'm ready to do this. I always forget what the buttons are. Alright, so the arrows shoot and the regular things move. I want that thing right there. So I'm the red one. Or whatever. She's she's the one in the greenish hat. Move! Oh, she blocked me there. Just give me... Uh... Oh, you can shoot at an angle? I didn't know that. Get out of my way, lady! Man, we're killing this. Even she hasn't died. Whoa! I say that, and then we get... Attacked by a ton of them. Ooh, what is this? That was like the... Halfway, and I haven't even died yet? This is the best I've ever done, y'all. Not even close. Ooh, can I get it? Ooh, what is that? Whoa! I might do this without dying. I've never done this before. I'm usually, like, I'll die a couple of times. She she usually dies at least once. If not more. Domination, y'all. That's what you are witnessing. Come get some! Ugh. Hey, we did it! Freaking owned it, is what we did. That was incredible. That's the, by far the best I've ever done. Hey, that was fun! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know where I made my way around a joystick. She's happy. Alright, so that cutscene's over. Where is Caroline? Alright. Come on. If Caroline is not here, I'm going to be angry. Come on, I got stuff to do, Caroline. All right, it's uh, Friday in fall. 
the 19th. Fall Friday in her sunroom until noon. Okay, she, she is going to come out of this room right here in like 10 minutes. Or 10 seconds. Come on. Boom. It's a fine looking day. How about a pumpkin? Oh, the pumpkin is a good one. Abigail will be so happy when she sees this. Thanks, Evan. Boom. Please be at two hearts now. Yes. Yes. Okay, go away. Now, look, she's in there. How did that happen? Crazy. Oh, hey, good morning, Evan. I just talked to you. What do you mean, good morning? Why are you greeting me again? I've been meaning to show you this. It's my private sunroom. So, what do you think? Uh, not as good as my farm. Oh, I'm going to say it's beautiful. Look at all the plant life in here. I'm going to get one of these trees from my house one day. I've worked very hard to make it this way. Cool. You should pick your tools up off the floor. You see, this is my sanctuary. Where, the place where I can always find peace. And it's a perfect place to drink my homegrown tea. Here, let's have a cup. Yes, let's. Is this green frothy hallucinogenic tea? We're about to find out. Chug it down. Delicious. I love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Uh, let me try to explain. And it's getting weird. Green frothy goodness. This, like, Indian temple in the background. When I'm alone, relaxing with, with my tea, my mind is empty and free to wander. Who knows what might appear? I don't... Oh, what is this guy? What in blazes? so weird green frothy goodness seems to be a theme in this uh game and it gets you like kind of hallucinate hallucinating on a regular basis so anyway she grows a tea leaf in here a tea bush and on the last in the last week of a season you can go in there and uh root around in it and get tea leaves so Starting on, uh, I guess, Monday, we will go and start rooting, rooting around in Caroline's Bush uh, as the season winds down. So that's cool. All right, so we got that done. Now to the mine. No, to Robbins and then the mines. So our goal here is, you know, we're just trying to get Omni Geodes. We're probably not going to get a lot of them because it's a relatively bad luck day. Um, Deluxe Coop. Ooh, 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 wait, paint buildings. We can paint the barn, right? Can we paint the barn? Oh, yeah. I like it red, though. I, I kind of like it red. Let's go with a darker... Uh, color for the roof, though. Yeah. I like that better. What about the... Tr can we do trim in... Uh... Ooh. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Uh, right about there. That works. Can we make the building more red, though? Yeah. Now we're talking... It looks like it's been bleeding and kind of stained from the blood. Good enough. All right, now build me a deluxe coupe, please. Skadoosh. All right, so in a couple days, that'll be done. Uh, unfortunately, it I don't think it'll be done on Sunday. Which means we won't be able to get a rabbit until Wednesday, because Marnie takes Monday and Tuesday off every freaking week, like a wild woman. 
But whatever. We haven't been up to the train area in a while. I wonder when we're due for another uh, train rolling through town. But, whatevs. Let's go sell that stupid bone sword before we go down there. Oh, nope. Let's not, because it's not open yet. Two to ten. What kind of hours are those? Alrighty. I don't have anything in there, do I? Nope. Alright, we're going to go to level 110. And the thought process there is that my assumption is that the lower you go, uh, the more... Ooh, get out of here, dude. Alright, so it's going to take a bunch of hits to kill those bats, unfortunately. Die! Jeez. I want some geodes, dang it. Oh, come on with this. Hit him! I'm gonna die down here, y'all. So that's no fun. Uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with anywhere I go. If I can avoid monsters, we're going to just try and do that. Like that guy is probably never going to make his way toward me because he's too silly to know how to walk around a rock. Now that slime, on the other hand, is like a ninja. We're going to probably try and focus on the red rocks because I think they're going to be more likely to give us geodes. But bottom line is this is kind of a crapshoot. I should have not smacked that one. because Now that guy can come and get me. That's okay. What are we going to do tomorrow? I've got some extra cash now, and I kind of need to decide what the heck I want to do. There's a, there's one, finally. Let's bring it up here so I can see how many we have. Thanks, bud. It's kind of funny that he dropped iron ore. Maybe because his helmet is, like, made out of iron or something. I don't know. Let's go kill this sun thing down here. Maybe he'll drop me a ladder. Ooh, a bat. Ah, oh, dang it. The bat distracted me, and I got... Ooh, a bomb. That could have come in handy. We're getting a little low on energy. Oh, cripes. We'll probably be low on uh, energy before we get low enough on health to where we need to eat. Unless I get attacked here in the next minute or two. Since there's no monsters here, why don't we just go ahead and keep smacking rocks? See if we can't get a geode or two. But really, luck might have made a difference on this uh, expedition. Oh well. What you gonna do, you know? It's just, you know, it's just kind of something that I would like to get. I don't need to get the dwarf gadget or whatever and build the computer. It's kind of just one of those end game things that I'm excited about because I've never done it before. But it's probably not something that I'll use a lot. Although I don't know because I don't know exactly how it works. I should probably look it up, honestly. All right, we're out of energy. Let's just go ahead and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa, whoa! Get out of here, dude. I was looking at my energy and got attacked by this. Yeah, at least he gave me a bomb. Now I kind of need to work my way out of here without using any energy. 710, we'll go over to the uh, Adventurer's Guild. 
sell the bone sword plus anything else I might have picked up that I can sell, which I don't think I got much. So today's the kind of day I probably could have eaten the big cake, uh, but I don't know how much stuff that I need to you know do that requires energy. To be honest, so let's uh, let's go on up and check the actually. Let's go down to the beach and just look for forgeables, and then we'll work our way home. Why not? We could probably even swing by the saloon, say hello to everybody. Because it is Friday, after all. I'm going to grab that. Uh... See, that puts us at zero, but we're not negative, so we're okay. But now I'm going to equip my scythe as a reminder to not... Do anything that requires energy. So, no, check the garbage. One geode out of that. What are the odds that we get lucky enough? I'm gonna eat this blackberry. No, eat the blackberry, because I want those worms. I doubt it's anything that I really need clay. That's alright, though. Better safe than sorry. Oh boy. Long day. We did it again, y'all. First day of the episode, and we're pushing a half hour. <laughs> but, whatever. Tomorrow. Why did today take so long? I was in the mines a lot, wasn't I? Oh, cutscene. That'll do it. Alright, going home. And tomorrow will be pretty much... I think my plan tomorrow is going to be just kind of a, a general sweep of the entire map. We're going to look for foraging. We're going to cut down trees around town. Um... And then whenever we complete that, maybe we'll just kind of come back to the home and go fishing or find somewhere like down in the forest river to go fishing or something just for a little bit of cash. But we don't have anything super critical. Okay, so we got flora patate. Oh, I didn't get any coal out of that trip either, which stinks. All right, so let's do that. Uh, that, that, and we're full there. Uh, Mega Bomb can go in there. I think I can sell all of that stuff. So one piece of sap goes in there. Um, I think that's it. Let's get going. I'm not smelting anything for now, because I want to be able to bust geodes. So that's what I'm going to save my coal for. Might as well do that versus having to pay... How much does coal cost? It only sells for 15 Anyway, not a big deal. Um, Alright. Instead of paying Clint 25 bucks. I'll just use the coal myself. So, anyway. Alright. Level 9 foraging. We can now craft a rain totem. And we can craft a cookout kit? What is a cookout kit? You gotta look that up. I haven't really been keeping a real close eye on some of those things that we get from leveling up our skills. Wait, not there. Cookout kit. I'm looking for other stuff that I don't really recognize. Uh, so, fiber seed cookout kit. Use this to create a cooking campfire, allowing you to cook on the go. Not real exciting. What's it take? Wood, fiber, and coal. Eh, I'm not super excited, but whatever. It's something that we will have to build later. Ooh, look, we can build a glowstone ring. 
Five Solar Essence, five Iron Bar. I think I might have known that. What is this? When enemies damage you, they will take damage themselves. Interesting. Okay. Moving along. It's Saturday the 20th. Nothing concrete on the agenda today, y'all. We can pretty much do whatever the heck we want. What's Evelyn want? Good morning, dear. Oh, because... I wonder if she's going to give me the, the uh, garden pot. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. I There's a theory that Evelyn uh, was having an affair with my grandpa. Like, on the opening cutscene cut of the new playthrough, there's a picture on the mantle that people claim is actually Evelyn. It looks even better than I remember. Okay. Here, I brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. <laughs> Garden pot. Now, what we will do with that is put it inside the house, and we will plant a cactus seed in there. So, it's not... No, I want to plant a tea leaf, a tea bush in it, so that I never have to water it. I really don't care about the cactus fruit plant or whatever. It looked nice outside, but out here they can only house in-season crops. So you put it inside, you can grow whatever plant you want year-round, kind of like the greenhouse. If you need more, they're really easy to make, too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. So now we know how to craft a garden pot. More things to craft. Great. She doesn't want George to get grumpy, so she's going to take off. And now we are holding a garden pot above our heads. All right. Dear Evan, thanks for stopping by my sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share with you. I've enclosed instructions on how to prepare and grow your own tea. No pressure, but if you do end up growing some, make sure to bring me a cup. Caroline. So, boom. Tea sapling. We now know how to make. So that's cool. We will do that at some point. Not today, though. Come on, Sea Biscuit. We got stuff to do. Places to go, people to see. Ah, screwed that up. But this is honestly, this day is, you know, it might not, it might not end up being super exciting, but I don't know. Because I don't have anything that's like, oh, yep, got to do that. We're basically going to just kind of take care, tear, take care of stuff around here and then just run around town. You know, if we see people, we'll socialize with them. Um, if we see trees, we'll cut them down. If we see things to forage, we'll grab it. You know, we might do a little bit of fishing depending on how long the episode's going. But we shall see. It's hard to believe we're, um, you know, we're rapidly approaching winter, y'all. Basically a week to go. So, almost three quarters of the way through. Ooh, what is that? I think that's, uh, something that I can donate. I don't know if I've donated it yet, but. Star shards? No one knows how these form. All right, whatever. You go in there. Yep, I already have one. You guys come in here. Uh, we'll keep another bunch of amaranth. Why not? And we shall keep... That'll give us ten grapes. Good enough. And let's do... That, how do I craft a tea sapling? Two things of wild seeds, five fiber, and five wood. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we need to make... Can I make... All right, I've got... 
sort this thing. Leaks. I only have two daffodils. Whatever. We're going to go leak, daffodil, boom. This is the cheapest of the wild seed bundles, I believe. So, boom. Now we have ten. We could make ten tea saplings. But I'm only going to make one. And then we're going to put these back in there. Uh, boom. Boom. All right, so all that stuff gets sold. We're going to go put the tea sapling inside. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Boom, boom. Let's go douche. I like the sound that that makes. All right, you can go right there, I suppose. 99% sure it doesn't require any watering, which is one of the reasons that I like it. Did I ever save those extra mushrooms that I needed? I don't think I did. How are we doing on... Okay, we're mostly full in our silo. Uh, so what I should do... Okay, she's working on this. After... Uh, she finishes, we'll have an auto feeder in here, which is cool. So, boom. I should probably make some more mayo makers. No, get on the horse. Hello, everybody. How are we doing out here? No, you can't milk a pig. Holy cripes. I really want my ducks to go play on the water. What I should do is, like, build a pen for this one that's, like, fenced them off and forces them over, like, funnels them over this way so they have to go out onto the water if they want to go anywhere. But whatever. Not a, not a big deal. Our barn's looking good, don't you think? All right. Milk. Boom and boom. Let's go ahead and so, ooh, golden goat cheese, nice. Uh, I'm gonna keep the egg. I feel like I need some. I still think I need those uh, mushrooms too. So let's go here. All right. Nope. I've got them. But I do need that. And that we're going to keep. Let's keep a total of five milk. And we're going to trade out the regular goat cheese for golden goat cheese. So, oh, and dino mayo stays in there. All right, I think we're ready to go and run around town. Oh, we got some coal. That's good. Boom, boom. <clears throat> what did we get that coal from? What did I put in there that gave me that? Was it a stick uh, of um, driftwood or whatever? I can't remember. All right, so again, we're just kind of going to try and cover every single place on the map looking for forageables. In fact, I'm going to spend 500 bucks and go to the desert. And... Since it's Saturday, there should be a decent amount of stuff to forage. Like coconuts and cactus fruit, but I don't see any. There's a coconut. There's some artifact wormies down here. Here's, okay, a couple cactus fruit. Keep them coming. I should say hi to Sandy. And there's wormies down there, now that I come over this way. Hey, welcome to Sandy's Oasis, the number one destination in Calico Desert. Did I sound professional? Sure did. Oh, look, she, she gave me milk. She's so nice. Tasty, huh? No, I, I don't know. I didn't even try it yet. Have a good one. All right. Nope. Mixed seeds. Hmm... Come on, golden relic. 
clay. Come on, y'all. I need some good stuff. I don't want clay and mixed seeds. This was kind of a bust. We only got a coconut and a couple of cactus fruit. Mixed seeds. Well, we did get a milk from Sandy, actually. So, all in all, it's enough to get our money back. So, that's good enough for me. Oh, my dogs. Seriously, y'all. Hello, sea biscuit. Ooh, 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 ooh. More mixed seeds. All right, so we're going to swing north and then kind of down around town, basically, and end up in Cinder Sap Forest, um, hoping that we've got you know time and energy to knock out some hardwood collection at the end of the day. And if it all works out and we even still have a little bit of time after that, then maybe we fish in the Forest River. What's up, Linus? I don't know if you noticed there, but I remembered that I don't need to get off my horse to talk to someone. So that's cool. I see those wormies there. We're going to grab them. Stone. We're not getting very lucky with the old uh, artifact spots right now. It's, you know, it's actually kind of surprising that I haven't gotten another ancient seed since we got that first one. Usually once you get one, it seems like you start getting more of them. But, you know, I haven't really been going into the right levels of the mines to get one, for one thing. But I also, um, you know, you can only dig them up from, like, certain places in the map in terms of like the artifact spots or whatever we're catching in fishing chests and we haven't done a ton of fishing in the last few weeks so oh you know what i keep forgetting we need to try and catch the fall legendary fish um but it's not a big deal we're gonna knock those out next year so if i remember uh in the next, in fact, let's just go ahead and put it down. Legend, dairy, fish. Sure. I even put the question mark because I don't know if we're gonna do it. Kind of asking myself, should we go get it? I don't know. What's up, Haley? It's too cold to go to the beach anymore. What do you think I should do today? Stop being a selfish crybaby. Uh, watercolor painting. Hmm. It's a pretty good idea, actually. Sure, of course it's a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. I don't remember what movie that's from. Anyway. Alright, so we've done a sweep of most of the map now. It's 250. Shane wants a hazelnut which I have one right there. So now we just need to find Shane. He might be... Doesn't he work at Joja Mart? Let's see if he's here. Uh, nope. He'll be at the bar eventually if he's not there already. So we'll find him. Ooh, emerald. Nice. Let's put this up here so I don't forget to give that to him. In fact, oh, I got to do that cheese challenge at some point. Get to level 25 in the Skull Caverns. Um, but honestly, I haven't had any good luck days on days where I was planning on, like, kind of having a free day like this. If today would have been a really good luck day, I probably would have gone to the Skull Cavern. Say hi to Willy. Uh, we'll check the beach again, even though we checked it yesterday, just in case. Not seeing anything, but it's not a big deal. There's a piece of coral. Oh, there's a sea urchin over there. Almost missed it. So, now where to? 
let's check the bar and see if Shane is there now. If he's not, he's probably over towards Marnie's and on his way there. Hello, Granny. How are you? Uh, you could say I'm friends with Alex. I wouldn't say that I'm not friends with him. Shane is not there yet. So he's probably going to be coming to the bar soon. And there I am jumping off the horse again. So, where are you at, Shane? Come on, buddy. Oh, there's Barney. Where the heck is Shane? Dang it. This is what I get for not, you know, taking the time to just look up his schedule. Um, I know I could kind of go down to the, to the south, uh off to the right here to get some more trees or perhaps some foraging but we're at 46 minutes already i still need to cut a few more trees here i need to go to cinder uh, to the secret woods and cut the stumps for hardwood i need to go find shane hopefully So, we kind of need to get moving. Or keep moving, I should say. Oh, you know, winter's coming up. Winter... So, the first winter usually isn't that bad in terms of, like, it goes by quick. Because, basically... It's mine and efficient. You, you know, the trees don't grow. Your crops aren't growing. So basically, there's not a whole lot else to do. Um, now, after the first year, we'll have the greenhouse. We'll have a gazillion animals to take care of. Uh, there will be enough going on that regardless of the season, we'll have stuff to do. Um, but this first one is going to be a little bit weird. Because usually what I use it for is to collect a whole bunch of I could kill that slime but I don't care enough I usually use it to collect a whole bunch of ore because I need it for you know I, I usually use a ton for sprinklers earlier on in the playthrough so I'm like kind of playing catch up now I won't be needing to do that this playthrough so I'm not real sure what we're going to do every day but whatever I'll probably start spending some time in the Skull Caverns, is what I'll do. Trying to work my way through there, get some Iridium, uh, so that I can then... Alright, we're going to go to the saloon and look for Shane. If he's not there, we're going uh, home. We're just we're going to end it. And I'll find him next episode. Okay. She's looking for crawdads in the river crayfish or crawfish depending on where you are from come on there he is that's my man sometimes they wonder how he ended up in this town i'm renting my room for marnie at a really good price it's small but i can't complain that's the spirit buddy all right he wanted a hazelnut right no what menu am i looking for bring shane hazelnut Yay, here's what he owes me. Now, he's happy. How much does he like me now? Is that going to give me another cutscene? It might. Six hearts. Ooh, baby. Uh, so, all right. Said hi to you. Say hi to Pam. She's unresponsive. Say hi to Gus. Say hi to Emily. Oh, see, Pierre here. Taking credit for uh, the crops that I grew. Just because somebody gave him a compliment about it. All right, let's go home. We got eighteen thousand bucks. I don't remember how much we put in the chest today, the shipping bin or whatever. But actually, there's one more thing I'm gonna try. No, no. Let's just go to bed. So get in here. 
How much wood did we get today? 257. Not bad. And 17 hardwood. I'll take it. Where am I keeping coconuts? Right there. Uh, and that can go in there, right? Anything need to go in here? That, that's fine. Okay, anything need to go in here? You don't need to. Get out of there. Get out of here! Alright, now I'm moving over here. Boom. See, we got lots of frozen tears, some extra emeralds, extra aquamarine. I don't think I need eight diamonds for anything. But, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Is craft my freaking crystallarium. What's it take? Where is it? Oh, two iridium bars. Dang it! Yeah, we can't do that. Two iridium, five gold, 99 stone, and a battery pack. Do I have any extra iridium? One piece. So we need four more pieces of iridium ore just to be able to make one more crystallarium. And that'll start, that'll double my jade production. Which the objective doing that is to get us to where we can get deep in the skull caverns and get more iridium. So you kind of got to, it's a spend money to make money scenario, except we're spending iridium to get iridium. So, all right, that will, do, wait, 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 wait. I see you there, corn. Whew, glad we didn't miss that. All right, that'll do it for this episode. So if you have not done this, uh, actually just make sure. Yeah, see, you can't water it. So if you haven't done so, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we'll see y'all next time.